welcome back to my channel I am so excited no I don't celebrate Valentine's Day but this is for y'all I'm just sharing okay anyway <laughs> I wanted to come in here because I am excited about my background so I did a little bit of DIY today and I think I really like what's behind me now. Marshalls, but I usually don't share what I get because it's like, eh, random things. I'm not that much of a crafty person. Before I get into the Michaels haul, let's tell you what is on my face. Yes. Girl, that glow, that glow, that glow. Hello. Yes. <laughs> um say hi and this is max perfect topping I have fallen in love with this because back in the day when it first came out I kind of missed the first time it was promoted with a limited edition collection from Mac and Tina the fancy face she wore the heck out of this MSF and talked about it so much that I was like okay Tina I have to check this out and so I did and when they brought it back like this, I was like, hello. So it is called Perfect Topping. And let me tell you, honey child, please, that is what you're seeing. It is beautiful. I love the glow. So I'm going to wear this, I think, for the rest of this week and maybe into next week if I don't change my mind. Because I might just do that. All right. I have a secret, y'all. <laughs> but before I share with you my secret, I'll tell you something else. I did, um, I, did I do a review on this palette? No, I did not. I bought this palette and for the love of me, I don't even think I made a video about it. I'm not even sure I made a video about it. I have to go back and check on my channel. But it is the Urban Decay Vice 3 palette. When I saw this... I contemplated back and forth for a long time, guys. Should I get this palette? Should I not get this palette? Um, spoke to, I have two friends that I spoke with back then about this palette, what, it, what they thought about it. Mind you, these ladies do not do YouTube videos. However, they do have an opinion because they spend a lot of money, as most of us do, on makeup. So we dilly-dallied back and forth. Should I get it? Should I not get it? And then... One did get it, but she wasn't in love with it, but she got it as a gift. Sort of, you know, like. Anywho, when I went in store and I saw it, I was like, hello, who are you? I want you. It's mine. And so it came home with me, okay? I swatched this bad boy and I fell in love with it. I probably posted it on Instagram, but I don't think I ever did a video about it. I used it today for the first time. I swatched it and I never did a look from it. And I felt so bad that I had this palette sitting there all this time and I never, never, ever, I never, ever did a look with the palette. I've, I've been feeling really bad and overwhelmed and said to myself, you know something, I need to do better. I have this palette and I really like Urban Decay shadows so let me pull this out so here we go for th for this look today I used just this palette first I put down this Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance eyeshadow cream <sighs> that was a mouthful this is what it is and I've been going back and forth about bases um, paint pots the color tattoos yada 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 now I've been complaining about those color tattoos for a while they do dry out on me I don't know what's up with that but and I close them properly I've tried all different kind of things I look watch YouTube videos and I've anyway I'm done with that did this five in one to me and so these are the two colors I have one is um, Radiant Sand and Blushing Pink. So this one is Blushing Pink and this one is Radiant Sand. I have been really using Radiant Sand more. So this I put on my eyes this morning as, 
you know, like a base all over from lid to brow bone. That's what I did. And then I took the palette and I went in with Undone. First I used Truth. This is Truth. And this is Undone. So I blended those two colors in the crease area. This one, Defy. And I darkened up the crease area in there. But before I did that, I took Vanity. Vanity is the purple one right here. So that... Okay, so this is Vanity. After I laid down those two transition shades, I used Vanity. Then I used Defy. Now, ooh, hmm. <laughs> Bondage is so pretty. This is Bondage. And I use bondage underneath my eye. Before I put my eye color on, I decided to use my Lit Cosmetics. The um, This is for glitter. However, I really like using it as um, putting it on my lid and then adding my eyeshadow color to it. Because my eyes are a li little bit hooded right in the crease area there, sometimes you know how you get that transfer of color from your lid up there. Now, one thing I like about the lid is you do not have to wait and like close your eyes and squint like that for it to dry. You put this on, very light, very small amount you need. And then I went in with Lucky. And Lucky is this color right here. So Lucky is on my eyelid. <sighs> Let me tell, can I tell you how much I love this look right now? I just really love this eye look. I really love the look. Um, then I lined it with a black gel liner. I think I used my Eyes Lips Face one today. This one is just a black gel liner. And I really have a love-hate relationship with some of Eyes Lips Face products. However, I do love this gel liner. I would recommend this gel liner if you're on a budget, starting your kit or you're new to makeup and you want to get into makeup, you want to try a good gel liner, get this. For three bucks, you can beat it with a stick. Okay, so I'm going to put the brush that comes with the palette back into the palette because I'm going to give you another look at the palette. There it is. so pretty i don't know what's not to like about this palette mm. what's not to like about the palette tell me again yes all right <clears throat> um so the secret i've been keeping y'all <laughs> don't get me don't get me don't get me i had to do this because you see i had store credit and I didn't pay money out of my pocket. And I really, 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 really wanted to try this. So I said, fine, I'm going to try it. But I ain't going to say nothing until I do the review. Anyway, my secret I've been keeping is this. The Milani... Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. Can I get an amen? Not amen, you know, but amen. <laughs> Love this stuff. Contain thyself. Control your excitement, child. Yes. So, this is on my face. I've been wearing it for the past few days. If you've been wondering what is on my face, it's been this or this. See, this one is all the way down here now. It's not too far away, but I don't like using this on a daily basis. This costs a lot of money, okay? This is Estee Lauder Double Wear. Hmm. She costs money, but she does me good every single time. Never go wrong. Go to Holy Grail Foundation, this one. So I want to use her up every day. And this brand new bottle. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Anyway... This is number 11, Amber. This stuff, I'm going to leave the review for when I do the review, but this is what is on my face, and I'm absolutely loving this stuff. So that's my big secret. 
The other thing I've been loving, I don't even know if I hauled this because I'm kind of weird. Sometimes I buy stuff and I just stick it in a drawer. I might post a picture on Instagram and then I don't say anything about it until I'm really ready to talk about it. So I did purchase the Laura Mercier translucent setting loose setting powder. Love it. Love it. You hear me? I love it. It's the only loose setting powder except the MAC one. And the MAC one was a bit nee for me. I had my days when I didn't like it. But this baby here, with this brush here, this is the Morphe or Morph or Morphe E3. See that brush there? Hello? Hello. Yes. Get you one of them brushes and get you some of this. Anywho. So I use this medium dark concealer, better skin concealer. I really love this concealer. It is the best except one that I had from Revlon years and years and years ago. The Photo Ready Concealer which it's creamy and I didn't want to repurchase it when I was done with it. But this bad boy, I would repurchase in a heartbeat because it highlights, give me the right amount of shading that I want for a highlight under my eyes. It's not too bold. It's not saying, hello, she highlighted, but you can tell that it just brings light to my face because that's what highlighting and contouring is. You contour to hide the dark things you highlight to bring forward. Yeah. So this I use as my under eye highlight. Love this. I blend it out with my little egg shape. Yeah, this little thing. Beauty blender, baby. <laughs> okay, so that's it for the face of the day. I know I took a minute rambling and all this, all this nonsense, but it is what it is. I'm just excited. I couldn't contain myself, so y'all got to put up with me. Okay, guys, take care. Enough love. Mwah.